So I already met my quota of pissing off Blue Maga and the Kamala Harris stand libs today, but it just doesn't feel like a normal day if I'm not also being attacked by the left. So let's get into this clip. I don't care how you feel about Mehdi Hassan. I know there are some leftists that don't like him. However you feel, I think it's inarguable that he is an excellent interviewer. I wish that more people in media would interview like Mehdi Hassan does. He really knows how to corner bitches. Like you are not going to get away with not answering his questions. It drives me crazy when I'm watching interviews with so-called professional journalists and reporters and they let them get away with not answering the question. He doesn't do that. So here's his interview with Jill Stein and Butch Ware. They are asked about Putin and honestly, bro, I don't know what she's fucking thinking. Like you already have people accusing you of being a Russian asset. You already have people of accusing you of being Vladimir Putin's puppet. So why, why not just answer the question straight? Okay, so he asked her if Putin's a war criminal, listen to her really shitty answer. We looked at your social media and you haven't done that many posts specifically calling out Russian attacks on civilian areas. You haven't called Vladimir Putin a war criminal, but you have called Benjamin Netanyahu No, actually we did. Yeah. In, in my very first remarks about the Ukraine war, we condemned- uh, Vladimir Putin's a war criminal. We, we, yes, we did uh, uh, condemn- Bashar a war criminal. Uh, yes, in so many words. Yes, we what have said as so much. So you call Netanyahu one, which I think he is. Oh, absolutely. Is Putin a war criminal? So what we said about Putin was that uh, his invasion of Ukraine is a criminal. It's a criminal and murderous war. And he's a war criminal who should be on trial. Well, by implication. By implication. You're struggling here. Let me say. Yes. Well, let me say. Yes. Well, let me say. Yes. Well, why is let Benjamin me say, Netanyahu a war criminal but not Vladimir Putin? Well, as as John F. Kennedy said, we must not be afraid to, we must not negotiate out of fear and we must not fear to negotiate. So if you want to be an effective yeah. world leader, you don't start by uh, name calling and hurling So how will President Stein negotiate with Israel then if you've called Netanyahu a war criminal? Well, because he very clearly is a oh, war so criminal. Clearly isn't a war criminal. Well, we don't have a decision, put it this way, by the International Criminal Court. Yes, we do. On yes, actually, we, actually yeah, we do. There's oh, arrest warrant for, for Putin. For there isn't yet an arrest warrant for Netanyahu. So yeah. why is Putin not a war criminal, but Netanyahu is? Yeah. Um, I think well, let me say, let me, well, let me say this. Either you're a war criminal or you're not. Is Actually, Vladimir Putin a war criminal? Uh, in, in so many words, yes, he I is. I don't know what so many words are, but is Vladimir Putin a war criminal? Let he me say that, that whatever you think he is, if you <laughs> want to pull <laughs> him back... I think. I'm asking what you well, think. Well, if, right if you I'm are not. a world leader, you don't begin your conversation by calling someone a war criminal unless so you have So why have you called Biden and Netanyahu war criminals? Because we have a clear strategy and we have a... I'm sorry, but what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? The answer should have just been yes and keeping him moving. Sorry, but this is just another example of how Jill Stein and the Green Party are not ready for prime time. First, she couldn't answer the question of how many seats there are in the House of Representatives. Now this like, bro, you've had almost a decade to come up with a solid answer on this question. This is your third time running for president. There's no excuse for this JV shit. There was an arrest warrant put out for Putin by the ICC. From a population of 41, about 8 million Ukrainians have been internally displaced and more than 8.2 million have fled the country by April 2023, which was a year and a half ago, almost. Creating Europe's largest refugee crisis since World War II. Bro, I am not about the fear mongering and the fucking outdated 1950 style McCarthyism red scare shit that the right does and that blue MAGA does. But let's not pretend that people haven't been killed here. In February 2024, the ministry updated its claim of Ukrainian military casualties to 444,000 and wounded. I don't know why this is hard. Like she could have just said they're all war criminals because they are. Putin is a war criminal. Netanyahu is a war criminal. Biden is a war criminal. Honestly, let's be real about this. You can't really be a world leader and not be a war criminal. But her answer was bullshit. Oh, in order to have diplomacy with people, you shouldn't call them war criminals. You literally called Biden and Netanyahu a war criminal, rightly, but don't use that as an excuse. Why didn't you prep for this answer? Like knowing that the Democrats have accused you for years of being a Russian asset or a Russian plan. I, I, embarrassing.